All right. So tell me, first of all, tell me about your work now. I know what your work was like, or I know of your work because I experienced it. We traded years ago. <laughs> what is your work that you do now? I still do readings. I still have clients that I that I coach and help tap into their intuitive abilities and help them out of whatever state that they're in into a higher place. I started doing, I created a new session based on my ability to read someone's field called a breakthrough session. So oh basically gosh. someone comes in and whatever's going on with them, I check everything in their field. So their chakra system, all their meridians, all the layers of their aura. I check to see if there's any fragmentation, any uh, emotional burdens, any past lives that are present or uh, parallel lifetime bleed through that kind of thing. And just address whatever's present and get it cleared so that they can feel a lot better and they can step into their next, their next steps. So that's a big one that I'm really enjoying doing right now because someone will come in in a certain energy and leave just entirely brighter. And that's really fun for me. I also, uh, uh, I do different types of readings for people moving through different types of things. But the the bulk of my work is working one-on-one, -on -one, as of now, working one-on-one -on -one with clients and helping them tap into their own potential and help them really give a little megaphone to their intuition so that life becomes a lot easier. It's amazing. Thank you. I love that. Do you do you typically title what the work that you do? Or I mean, I know we have to title it in order yeah. to market it. Like what is what are the title of like what's the titles of your sessions? What do you call uh, them? So the energy sessions, I, I literally call them breakthrough sessions. I call my my coaching one-on-one -on -one mentorship, one-on-one -on -one psychic mentorship. Uh, my readings all have different titles depending on if it's an Akashic reading, if it's a card reading, whatever anyone wants. Um, so yeah, I, I title. I never know what to call myself, Sonia. <laughs> what do you call yourself? Well, I'm under the umbrella of Quantum Healer, which actually you're under the umbrella of. You could right. easily join quantumhealers.com. It's and I'll I'll share that with you when we're done recording. Okay. And you can actually have a page there and you can start advertising and it's super cost effective because you're a quantum healer. That's what this is. Right. And it's an umbrella for everything, literally, from like an acupuncturist all the way over to an Akashic uh records reader to a galactic high council, you know, <laughs> appointment. <laughs> to diving deep down into the underworld and finding black moon Lilith and right. <laughs> helping her to empower herself from victimhood back into victory. It's, it's such a huge thing that you can, you can be under that umbrella and you can do any kind of healing work that you want to. That's, that's why we're <laughs> there. That's another reason why I wanted to do this. Cause I'm like, she's got to be under like a bigger, you got to be under a bigger group. That's not a dogmatic organization. That is an open right. free flowing. When we say quantum, we mean everything all right. And that would help you to, to, cause what you do is so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do is so powerful, but you were sharing with me that you want to do more group coaching. Yes. So Tell I'm me about that. creating a program right now to take the gifted, the intuitive, the star seeds that are moving through their awakening process or who just want to deepen. I'm creating two groups. So one will be more beginner to intermediate just to cover the basis of how energy works, the energetic body, getting to know your yourself, your team, everything, everything that will help you along your spiritual path. And then I'm creating a group for those who have been on the path and are ready to deepen. So for that group, we're getting more into Akashic records and telekinesis and the, the fun, the fun, deep shamanic journeying and things where we can go a lot deeper. And so I'm launching that November 1st. I'm very excited. And it will be my first time. I, I teach classes and workshops. I have a Patreon that I have a community on, but I've never done group coaching before. And I love having people in a group environment because people learn so much from each other and receive so much from each other. And it's so fun for me to lead a meditation, lead a shamanic journey, lead people through an exercise, and then hear what everyone's unique experience was. 
and let everyone else to, to soak that in as well. So that will be launching November 1st. I'm very excited. I love that. You know, that reminds me of my monthly quantum healing webinars. That's what, that's what those are and that I offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, it's like, yes, I'm facilitating it, but it's literally group collaboration for right. everybody to be able to have their voice and share their experience being under group hypnosis based on the theme that we're talking about that month. And it's always a theme that is coinciding with what humanity is experiencing. And like this month, I just posted it on my website. I just put out my newsletter and it's on shadow work. And it's something that I feel like light workers avoid. And as you know, it's essential that we do shadow work. And so I'm like, okay, that's it. We're, we're diving into it now. We're going to get into shadow work because if you, as you know, if you don't look at your shadow, that's what is expressing the most. It's going to be the loudest and your subconscious is making all of the decisions and yes. you're going to be looping. And you're like, why is my life like this? And why do I keep attracting the same guy? And why are my parents irritating me? And if you don't know, <laughs> you're living that miserable egoic existence. And so, yeah, we've, we've got to dive into shadow work. It's important. I know that shadow work is something that you've dived into deeply. Yes. It's essential. <laughs> it's it is. So when did you start getting into it? Like what, do you remember how old you were when you saw when shadow work was really clear to you and you were like, I think I have to go into this. I was quite young. It's before I, my awakening process, very, very young. Uh, I think maybe about nine or 10 years old was when I first started accessing and experiencing those, those darker realms and realizing that I was part of it and that part of it was in me as well. And through my teenage years, there was a lot of that of accessing those realms, navigating, figuring out how to set boundaries, how to um, accept those parts within myself, that kind of thing. But of course, it really solidified after my spiritual awakening process. And I started really getting to learn myself so much more and these little aspects of, of my shadow that I had pushed away for so long. Because I think everything within society, within religion, within family structures, uh, teaches us to push those aspects away. So subconsciously, even, even if we're open to these parts of ourselves, we have so much conditioning to repress and to push those aspects away when these aspects are just trying to love and protect us. And so learning that integration is, is so key to inner liberation. It's like the most important, I would say, of the spiritual process is learning how to integrate to love and to really bring balance back within so that you're the one making the decisions, <laughs> not your, your subconscious shadow. So I'm, I'm so happy you're doing that. You're doing that workshop, working with people on that as well. Yeah, it's absolutely essential. Something that, you know, I remember doing shadow work really exclusively when I was 10. My dad hit me in the face when I was 10, when he was drunk. And it was like, oh, like my whole world was really utopian before that. And then it was just like this realization of, oh, oh my gosh. And my dad became very, very dark. Right. And, and he's Lilith in my ninth house on my chart, actually. <laughs> he's Black Moon Lilith. And so yeah. Black Moon Lilith came in through the masculine yeah. and started showing up and creating just all of this, this discord and havoc in my world. And it was so interesting because I was aware that I was doing shadow work. It was just like this it is the feeling of this is my darkness. And it was at that age that I started to become obsessed with witches and being the witch every Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I loved being the witch before them, but it was an obsession. And so I had to dive into it. And it was kind of like the guides were saying, you need to go into this part of yourself and look at this. And I, I dived in deep. I went down into the underworld <laughs> very deeply. Yeah. And coming out of it was so hard. It was definitely like a... I started coming out of it when I was 19, 20, and it was a very intense time in my life. In 1920, I lived in New York City, and the guides were starting to show me um, a more balanced part of myself, but the struggle, I was struggling with my shadow. And that's the part that I really want, I want to help people with, is to get out of the struggle with their shadow self. Yes. And instead, 
because we fear it. And it's like, but if you fear it, if you're only going to, it's going to become an inflammation. Right. It's going to inflame. It's going to exacerbate. And if you accept it, then you're going to see that it's a part of you in order to be human. And it's actually nothing to fear. It's a part of you that actually you should celebrate. It doesn't mean go out and behead children. We're not saying that. Right. <laughs> People are like, oh, but you're condoning Satanism. I'm not, but I'm also not judging Satanism. Right. Like if you're going to judge Satanism, it's going to be a problem for you. And then you're going to be in extreme duality. Mm -hmm. And you're going to real, you're going to see that that extreme, I'm a light worker. Why aren't I having abundance? Why aren't all these wonderful things happening for me? I'm focused on the light. I go to Burning Man every year. Mm -hmm. I go spend time in Sedona in the vortex. I go to Cathedral Rock. I'm at Shasta. I'm hanging out at the crystal shops. That's great. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> what about accepting your shadow? And when you're in the crystal shop at Shasta, are you judging? Are you mm -hmm. judging yourself and saying, I'm superior? Then you're going to ex be experiencing these extreme dichotomies in your life. And you want to come out of that. That's why I'm putting that out there right now. That's that's like this year. I'm sure you've noticed this. This year, I'm really observing. like the, It's almost like the culmination of humanity's shadow with the ridiculous politics and all of these cataclysms and just massive tumultuous, the hurricanes and the floods and, you know, it's the revelations in the Bible and it's, <laughs> and people are like so religiously zealot, there's zealoty and, and yeah. you're just like, yeah, it's really coming up. The shit's coming up right now. Right. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to judge it? Are you going to accept it? And people are freaking out. Light workers are freaking out. And oh my God, this is so tragic. Is it? Is it tragic? Well, let's pull back and see if it's tragic. Pull back further. What does source feel about this? Oh, guess what? It's source. And it's expressing itself. And there is no right or wrong. It's just experience. And yeah, that's what shadow work brings you into. Right. I love that. It's fascinating. Right now, I'm actually, I'm diving into Freemasons and Satanism. That's it's fascinating. Yes. And I have, I have before. I started doing this when I was a teenager, when I was in my super occulty Ouija board mm -hmm. stage, when I was super witchy. And and I was like, okay, this is really dark. Like I dove into Manly P. Hall and the Theosophical Society and all of that. And I was like, this is really darky dark. It's kind of fascinating. Yeah. And um. Yeah. And then because I was, I was super self-judgmental, um, I wasn't ready for it. And then I was diving back into it again when I met my kid's father, when I was 27 and we were, we lived in Los Angeles at the time. And we actually went to the Theosophical Society mm. and we were looking at the, uh, the handbooks and the manuals of Freemasonry and everything. And we were really diving into it to see what the darkness was. Right. And I've, I've dived into it here and there after you have kids um, and you know, because you're an auntie, it, sometimes when like when they're babies, when when you've got your babies in your life, whether you're a mother or you're a, a secondhand mother, it's kind of like, I really just want to protect my babies and I can't yeah. dive into this right now. But there's a point where you do have to dive into it again. And yes, and I did. And I, I really am now. And, and I feel like people really need to practice deep breath work and they need to practice neutrality. Mm -hmm. They need to really examine their own judgment before you can really dive into your deep, deep shadow work, you really have to go into a daily meditative practice and really do deep breath work and look at where am I coming from programming that I learned from my ancestors that's fight or flight, right and wrong, good and bad. Right. And I know you've done a lot of that as well. I know you, you do all of that breath work and all of that neutrality work. Yes. You couldn't do the work that you're doing if you didn't. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. And I've I've delved into those the a lot of black magic knowledge because it mm -hmm. helps me. It informs me. It helps me to understand the the different sides. And I've had people come to me. I've had multiple clients who've come to me who have been in some kind of black magic warfare and are dealing with physical symptoms or whatever's happened. And I have loved helping them realize it's not about the warfare. It's about their 
their relationship with it and their fear and what they're carrying, what they're holding. It's so much more empowering that way. There's so many psychics, practitioners who will clear things for you or, or help you to step out of uh, being, being sort of affected by, by lower realms, but to have practitioners like you, Sonia, who teach you how to become empowered so that that, whatever the thing is that's affected, you no longer holds any power over you. That's where it's at. And so much of that, you have to go to the lower realms to learn, to learn about it. So, you know, how to, how to navigate and how to hold that neutrality, regardless of what is present in those realms. Absolutely. Absolutely. You do have to dive into it. And what, what's coming up right now that I see for humanity is that spiritual bypassing is being deeply exposed. And I know that there have been a few people in my life personally that have exited temporarily, probably. I love them. I would love for them to do that inner shadow work and accept it and love it and stop judging themselves. But they're really challenged with that. And they've exited simply because there's a lot of spiritual bypassing yes. going on. Oh, but I just love the whole world. And we're all one. We're all oneness. And it's we're all the same. And it's like, yeah, but you're still judging yourself. And you're still fearing your own darkness. Because then when their darkness comes up, I get the messages. It's all going so badly. Mm -hmm. And Why? And this is so, oh, oh, this is so bad. And it's, it's the same thing. And my mom is doing this and it's my job again. And I changed jobs, but it's still the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's Which like <laughs> the, the ego drama and then the spiritual bypassing comes in. And I see that as, as a big loop for people who are on the path of higher consciousness and spiritual awakening, as I like to put them in that category. And we need to, we need to dive deeper now. It's time. It's time that everybody dives into the underworld. If you don't like what you're seeing on this planet and this planet right now is mostly ruled by Satanists. It yes. is. Yes. And we are here to balance that. Yes. When people say eradicate it, you can't eradicate Satanism from the third dimension. It's not possible. It's what makes up the third dimension, but it's imbalanced. And that's one of the reasons why, for those of us that choose to stay in the third dimension, we're here to bring in those of us that are emanating more light. Mm -hmm. We're here to bring that balance between the light and the shadow, but we have to love the shadow as well. The shadow is important. Right. And if you don't want to stay in the third dimension, then you're ascending and you can go ahead and ascend. <laughs> and we are as a collective, we're ascending into the fifth dimension, but we're not ready yet. Right. <laughs> we're not ready yet. <laughs> because we're still judging the third dimension and we're not seeing the beauty and the value of being here. Right. And and diving into our darkness. Yeah. It's so cool. So where can people find you? They can find me on Instagram, sayasha.giana, J-I-A-N-A. And then uh, my website, sayasha.com. Super easy, super simple. All my services are on there. Uh, contact information is on there. So and they can join your Patreon group through either. They can join my Patreon mm -hmm. from there. I'm Patreon yeah. backslash Sayasha, but it's all on my website. Super, super easy. And then you said you're going to be starting something on Instagram doing group coaching. Do you know when you're going to launch that? November 1st. November 1st. Yes. Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. What else, what else are you working on, Sonia? What are you offering these days or what is your focus with your clients aside from the, the workshops and helping people through their shadow? Yeah, the monthly webinar. Well, those, the theme changes this year right now, I feel like we're really diving into, we just did last month for the quantum healing webinar and those are donation based. Those are the most affordable options that I give to people so that they can, those people who feel like they cannot afford uh, a full quantum healing session, they can dive into group hypnosis. Though the theme changes every month. And I've been holding those since 2020, actually. Mm -hmm. And right now this year, we are really looking at one of the higher aspects of ourselves, the oversoul, in order to really get a lot more of your answers because we become the higher self. The higher self is our future self. And that's what we grow into. Right. And then once we're, we've been really tapped into the oversoul, which were the previous webinar themes, now we're ready to dive into our shadow self because you have to be really in touch with your fullness before you can get down into your microcosm. Right. And so that's what I'm I'm offering. And I literally just posted that on my 
my website in my uh, bookings tab is I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll get the quantum healing webinar for this month at shadow work. And I'm offering BQH beyond quantum healing, which is way more than QHHT past life regression. It's also future life progression, life between lives, diving into the underworld. If you want to go there. And I have had clients who come to me with very similar people come to me with galactic wars. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you're judging. <laughs> I know that was something that's a big thing for me has been all of the galactic connections, especially with those, those worlds in Orion's belt, reptilian, draconian, all of that so-called darkness and people fear it. And so people have been coming to me for years with a fear that of the Anunnaki, of the reptilians, of the draconians, of the inner earth beings that are here to hurt us. And I'm like, nobody's here to hurt us. Mm -hmm. So I help people with a lot of that in BQH, Beyond Quantum Healing Sessions. And that's quantum hypnosis. And that's also hypnotherapy. I regress a lot of people into their childhoods where they're going to find their this life's origin of inner child pain and we dive into the inner child wounds which is essential and then i also offer mini quantum hypnosis sessions those are much shorter and we go into a lighter state of hypnosis and those are for people who have more experience with meditation have had quantum healing sessions with other practitioners or with myself it's a really great way to just pop in for 90 minutes get some key answers to your questions and completely clear out your field and integrate and feel more balanced and more grounded yeah. and feel more conscious and expand your consciousness so that you can see your patterns. Seeing the patterns is really key. People need to see their behavioral patterns. And so I help them with that. So I do that and online healing sessions, which are not quantum healing sessions. And I'm deciding if I want to phase those out and just turn those into the life and health coaching. So that's my big, big package right now is life health coaching, mm -hmm. not quantum healing, health, <laughs> cleaning yes. up their health. The yes. diet, cleansing, fasting, 14. I have a 14 day juice cleanse, which you did years ago. And I still use your testimonial. Thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. That was life changing. I've done that cleanse maybe four times since then. I love it. Uh, and yeah, I had no idea how to do a juice cleanse, what to do. I remember I came to you struggling with all of these upgrades, getting stuck in my body because I didn't realize that I had medication from my childhood that was prescribed to me at the hospital still in mucking up my field and the relief that I felt Sonia after that after that period of time through that cleanse and beyond was life-changing so yeah and then I've I've repeated that cleanse I try to do it at least once a year yep. uh, since then and it's it changes everything I'm so grateful to you for for that and so excited that you're going to help people to clean out the body we don't even realize we're so used to our bodies functioning we don't realize how heavy things are until it's clear and we have that that vibrance again good I'm so glad it's important I do it twice a year I actually do that cleanse twice a year on the equinoxes to create balance beautiful they are there. I just finished one on this, this one equinox gateway. And I do it in conjunction with the parasite cleanse actually. Mm -hmm. So I help people rid the bodies of parasites and heavy metals. And of course the 14 day juice cleanse, and you can do them either simultaneously or you can do them separately. You don't have to do them together, but I help people clean up their diet. I help people get into a spiritual daily, spiritual movement practice, whether it's yoga or Qigong or Tai Chi or Falun Gong or whatever jumping on the rebound or whatever you want to do, as long as it's got to be fun and enjoyable. And I just tell people clean up their lifestyle, simplify, learn how to manage your life. A lot of people come to me, number one, with the diet questions. They have parasites, they have heavy metals, they've got metal in their teeth, their eyes are out of alignment, they're losing their hair. I get a lot of that. People that are losing their hair because they have heavy metal and parasitic toxicity, mm -hmm. skin issues. So I help people with that through life and health coaching. I basically just help people to simplify and clean up their life. Yes. And then they'll see the ripple effect of their entire life. And, but that's also cleaning up their emotions and cleaning up their thoughts right? as well. It's, it's the whole thing. If your thoughts are toxic, your body's going to be toxic. And if your emotions are not flowing, if you're not feeling, if you're repressing, then your body's going to be dammed up and you're going to have a lot of blockages and you're not going to feel good. Yeah. So 
Yeah, that's that's my new package. And the, I think I'm going to phase the online uh, healing session, which is just a one-time session. I think I'm going to do that into just a one-time life health coaching session so that people can see if they really want to work with me as right. a coach. That's It's a lot what I offer, but yes, it's a lot what you offer too, but it's so amazing. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, good. Well, this is so good. I'm glad we got to chat for, yeah. for the public. This is so Thank important. You. So you know where to find Sayasha and you know where to find me, Sonia Wilder Wellness dot com and all my socials, Instagram and YouTube, Sonia Wilder Wellness. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>